हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक मंथली हाउ टू अर्न रुपीज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन दैट इज वाई वी हैव टेकन इट अप टुडे फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू अर्न मनी फ्रॉम स्टॉक मार्केट देर आर ओनली टू टेक्निक्स वन इज लॉन्ग टर्म नदर वन इज शॉर्ट टर्म लॉन्ग टर्म मीन्स एवरी मंथ यू इन्वेस्ट फाइव टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड for 5 10 15 20 years and at the end of which you will get a huge amount and from which you can make s w p every month and at that time you may not get 15 20 it may be 50 60000 also this is about long term you will not get any money now probably you are asking how to get 15000 to 20000 every month just now in that case you have to go for what is called as short term trading short term trading means you have got to know technical analysis you must know the graph well and that is easily about 2 or 3 months training and practice of another 6 months then only you can expect this kind of money otherwise you will surely lose money you must know when the market is going up you must know when to sell suppose you are talking about earning 15 to 20000 every month say 20000 into 12 that means 2 lakh 40000 to earn 2 lakh 40000 annually you must have approximately 9 to 10 lakhs as your investment and there is a risk involved too however if you want to make money through intraday trading then let me warn you because out of the people who invest in intraday trading 95 to 98% lose money and they may even lose the originally put the capital too in the first few days you may get profit later it may be consistent losses plus you require minimum 2 or 3 lakh rupees as a capital so you got to decide i have given you all the details the next question is sir 30% small cap mutual funds are giving why should i invest in stocks and take the risk today i am deliberately answering questions that have come in my chat box so that everybody will get the benefit the answer for your question is please note maybe few funds out of hundreds of mutual funds may give you 30% profit so don't assume based on checking limited data also the risk in small cap funds is almost as high as investing directly in small cap stocks that is a problem so very very important make sure that you understand it correctly for example one particular year one sample year a particular mutual fund with a small cap may give 30% if you hold it for the next 5 years it may iron out to 12 to 13% but the risk is always there in mid cap some years there may be 30 40 50% appreciation the next year it could go down 30 40 50% so suggestion is kindly have a balanced view better is large cap mutual funds much better is learn about stock markets and directly invest in stock markets the next question sir infosys tcs in the future days will there be any problem we always say that you should not invest in similar and same sector stocks in forces and tcs you mentioned my suggestion could be in forces and something else from some other sector could be asian paint or lnt etc one more thing there is nothing like continuously investing for long term without any monitoring whatever shares you buy however good they are however wonderful companies they are to look outside you must do fundamental analysis once in 3 months the balance sheet and the profit and loss account plus another 17 factors you must see and the fundamental analysis once in 3 months may usually take around an hour for one company that's the right technique no question of blindly investing in one particular share suppose you invested in infosys and tcs and the company profits are falling share price will too fall in that case our suggestion is once in 3 months when you are monitoring 
the profit margin is coming down three continuous quarters then it is time not to invest and also to sell whatever shares you have if the three quarters it continuously goes up it is time to purchase it again the next question also very useful for everybody how to find FIIs and DIIs investor stocks in money control website in almost every mid or large cap stock FIIs and DIIs would have invested some amount of money second if you want to know how much FIIs and DIIs are invested in specific stocks then you can visit a company page on money control website check the shareholding pattern there you will clearly know whether fresh money has been pumped from FII or DII in this particular quarter. Third one, you can also Google which stocks have the highest FII and DIIs holding to. One more interesting question. Every month can I invest in one particular company? Is it good or bad? The idea is good. Let us imagine you have 5,000 to invest every month. Maybe you can select two companies or for that matter, you can buy one company share to 10 months, 10 different shares, not the same share every month. Because in our workshop, we keep on talking about diversification, 6 to 10 stocks of 6 to 10 different sectors. So that is the right idea. The next question, when DMART dividend will come? It's a very interesting question. Check the corporate action section of money control page of any specific company. Normally what people think is persons like Dr. Bharat Chandra or Rohan Chandra are always in touch with all the companies and they will know all the details. No, we will not know the details of the DMART company because that is a decision the company directors will take or not take. So dividend coming, it comes much earlier in a website called moneycontrol.com. In the corporate section, each company announces the dividend at different times in the year. Please check the corporate action of money control section for all the companies you hold. Maybe you have 10 companies, 10 companies you should look in the moneycontrol.com corporate section, you will come to know. Please note that some companies don't pay dividend and may reinvest profits to expand business. Some companies don't pay dividend and they reinvest so that the company's profits will go up. So share rate too goes up. At what age one can open DMED accounts or can miners start investing? DMED accounts can be opened by miners also. However, trading account cannot be opened until the age of 18. So directly buying shares by a miner is not possible since they are not allowed to enter any contract in their name. Number two, ideally if you want to separately invest for a child, open a new DMAT and trading account in one of the parents name and invest. Once the child is 18 years, you can transfer the share to the child's account. Hi sir, I invested 1.70 lakhs last 7 months back in fundamentally strong companies, Wipro, Tata Motors, InfoEdge, Adani Ports, IRCTC, Tata Steel, Titan, but still I am in 4% loss, please suggest me. By reading your question, I came to know that you have not taken Dr. Bharat Chandra's workshop and probably you have no idea of what is fundamental analysis because you have selected some stocks, for example, Tata Motors still under heavy loss. Every year they are trying to recoup the losses and nowadays the loss percentage has come down but they are not in profits. So fundamental analysis would have told you. Info Edge also has some problem. Out of the pack of IT stocks, Wipro is the weakest. You have selected that. Adani Ports, the borrowed money is very high. Tata Steel is a very moody share. And out of all these things, Titan and IRCTC to certain extent seems to be alright. My suggestion is, please learn fundamental analysis. One more interesting thing, many people purchase 
Zomato and Paytm just because they are very famous companies. Everywhere we can see the name in TV, a newspaper, etc. Similarly, you must have seen Tata Motors, Wipro, etc. You may be tempted and you may be thinking that they are fundamentally strong shares. Fundamentally strong shares are decided by profit and loss account and balance sheet, not by the amount of advertisement they spend in the social media or whatever. Plus, you said you are under 4% loss. When I am talking about long term investing, 4% loss in less than one year is perfectly all right, provided you make a better choice of the stocks. Normally, you start getting profits after five years and 10 years, very good profits, 15 years, wonderful profit, 20 years, fantastic profits. The next question, sir, I wanted to know the details about your workshop. So I sent an email, but until today, I have not received any information. I have a feeling that you may not be tech savvy. You must have made some mistake in the spelling of the email. Normally, when an email comes to us, it is immediately replied. There is no lag period, not more than three or four hours. So my suggestion is, please send the email again, at gmail.com. You will get all the details. The only way you can attend our workshop is through attending our free introductory webinar. Sir, I am from April batch. When I am watching the graph, should I watch at the time when the market is on or after the market is closed? All Dr. Bharat Chandra techniques are dealing with the closing rate. So, you have got to wait until the market closes to take action for tomorrow. Market closes at 3.30, by about 7 p.m., all the rates are properly updated. That is the time to see. We are not asking you to see at the time when the market is going on because that rate and that data will be entirely different than the closing rate. The last question of today's video. Sir, I am from October 2022 batch. My age is 45. Every month I've been investing 25,000. Should I wait until the course is over or can I start investing now? We have clearly told in all our videos, if you are taking the workshop, please wait until the three months period is over. You are joined in October. That means November, December, January. Your course will be over by January. Kindly take the investment decisions from January because your whole outlook towards investing in stock market will change. Finally, at the end of the video, if you find the information is good, kindly type good in the chat box. If you are not the member of Stock Market Academy channel, this is the time to subscribe, press the bell icon, send this video to all your friends. And finally, the video is good, type good in the comment box. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. All the best.